The government, I think, believes that while the land is still in custom hands, custom land owners' hands, nothing much in terms of development can happen. So you need to transfer the title of the land, the ownership of the land, into lease. So it, once, when it's in custom land, you can do development on the land. Mm. And uh, there was no really much effort in trying to understand the customary system to the point where you know there are possibilities in the customary ways, customary system in which businesses could still operate. When the churches came in and uh, the churches bring with them the church, of course the missionaries bring with them the church and then they set up schools, there's no difficulty with that. You have churches sitting on the land, mm. the customary land, you have the schools built on customary land, there's no problem with that. People allow, you know, leaders of customary, leaders of tribes of customary land which just, who just kind of allow these things to happen on custom land and that's all. Because they are not something from afar, they are part, they are taken on and they are part of the people. Now when you have something that, you know, businesses, investors coming in, they want to have, they want, they want the business where the community will not really be part of it. It's, it's theirs, it's not for the community and the tribes. Then I, I see why they, they want to lease, because they don't want participation of the community. The, the cooperative society, for example, is for the community. So let's build it on this land. It's all for us. And, and, and you see, business for everybody has a place. Business for you alone not to all of us, then doesn't seem to have a place in custom. Because land is, land is not valued in money. Land is not money. Mm -hmm. you, you, uh, you can't value land with money. Land, as, as we always say, is life. And uh, if you want to value land, I mean, you imagine the many life that has been living off that land since time immemorial. Up to this time, and it's going to continue, and the value of all that life cannot be measured in money. Yeah. You, you just can't. And to to really to 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 sell land for money, to lease land for money, to exchange land for money is for me a real crime. Because you are taking life, you, you are devaluing life. Mm. And, and and that's what we especially with the National Council of Jews, is finding it difficult to accept. It, it just doesn't accept that. And that's why in, its, in its, one of its uh, resolutions, in its uh, latest National Council of Jews meeting, is that every, the, the custom land, lands at the moment must not be leased. Every customary land in Vanuatu must not be leased now. You saw the map, the land is gone. A, a lot of land is going away. And it's going away very fast. We're trying to put a stop to it, but then the demand for cash, the demand for cash is such that it's not really, po it's not, it's, it's, re it's really a big challenge. We are fighting an uphill battle. You can't stop people from paying their school, you know, the kids' fees at school, the medical fees, and all the different other things, the clothes they wear and uh, the kerosene for the hurricane lamps, and it's all money. Even though people may realize the importance of land, but the pressures on them is such that people somehow would be would, would continue to lease because there's no other option for them. Mm -hmm. Because we can do little markets, but people see tra trucks. People want to drive trucks. People people want to live in good houses. For me, it's always we can say as many things as we want. It boils down to the fact that we've got to look at the cash issue. How do you make these people have enough of what they want 
that they don't need to go to sell their land, to lease out their land. Here we are just talking about custom economy, but when you talk about custom economy, you talk about custom governance. Of course you have. And you talk about custom relo, you talk about custom justice. When you talk about custom economy, you talk about custom currency. And I, I don't see this going on and on forever. We, we got to come out with something. And I'm ready to, to, to listen to any ideas. And, but that, those new ideas that would come in would have to be fundamentally rooted in custom. Because it's got to be about sharing, about being together, about val valuing relationships, about valuing life, about valuing land as it is. And uh, the fundamentals of life is you, me, we, not I. And that's what we want to... Con so whatever ideas, what, whatever we, we want to do with the new... about how to deal with this issue of cash has to have its, its roots in the you-me aspect of it, mm -hmm. not the me aspect. Mm -hmm. You see, in life, philosophies, you have two eyes, you have two ears, you have two legs. When one is weak, you, you, you lean on the other. The systems, life tells us that we need to have two systems. The modern system is there, we need to hang on to the customary system. There are two systems. When one is weak, the people can lean on the other. When the other is weak, the people can lean on the, on the other. It is very foolish to have only one system. Like, for example, on the island of Pentecost, for example, where I come from, we hold on to the land. We don't lease out any land. It's only on the land where the, there's government schools and uh, the hospitals and mm. clinics. That's, that's, you know, like, it's now government. Mm. But the, land, the whole land, people call on the land, and they grow their own cover, they grow their own tar, and they ship that to villa every time, and they, they service the cover bus with the cover, and people get money of it. And that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. And uh, it's working, not mm. only on Pentecost, in other islands of Vanuatu, like the Santo, like Malakula, like Tana, but then because of the fast and stronger demand that is being pushed on people to feel that they should need this. Uh, you look at the advertisements in the red, in the TV and on the papers about, you know, suddenly people, maybe I should have that, maybe I should have that. And now it's becoming to be, they, they want something that what they, their, their current financial situation cannot afford. And, and that's when it, it becomes dangerous.